Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off on your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the MikeWagnerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio, over 25 podcast platforms and county. We also added Geo7, and we're going to be adding more as well, too. Take the Mike Wagner Show on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today, and stay tuned to the Mike Wagner Show page on Facebook for any updates as well. And we are back once again with um, author and health expert Stacey Chalemi. She was on last time on the Mike Wagner Show talking about her book, The Complete Herbal Guide, A Natural Approach to Healing the Body, author of um, 20 books. I mean, I've lost count after a while. <laughs> Purified Water Naturally, Cures for the Common Cold, and um, Corporate Complete Guide to Natural Healing and Faith, Courage, Wisdom, Strength, Hope, and a lot more. And, of course, as we talked about some of the subjects that um, – Basically, just as we get up there a little wiser, but then stress comes in, you lose your hair over so many things. And, and of course, we, we left the fact about, you know, hair loss is a natural thing. And Stacey Chlemy is here to talk about live from the Plus Studios in beautiful New Jersey, author and health expert Stacey Chlemy back again to Mike Wagner. So, Stacey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining <laughs> us again. Thank you so much for having me on the show. I really appreciate it. I had a great time last time. Yes, we did. And everybody had a great time as well, too. And of course, uh, author, health expert, you've written 20 books and your latest, The Complete Herbal Guide, A Natural Approach to Healing the Body. And, um, you know, before we talk about uh, hair loss, as we had um, mentioned on the last show, once again, quickly tell everybody how you got started in a quick recap. You know, um, I had uh, developed epilepsy at the age of five. I had um, encephalitis. It had traveled to my brain, and uh, it, I went to an uh, induced coma for four days. And when I came out, they thought I was going to be either paraplegic or have severe brain damage. Um, I didn't. I uh, came out, and I, I was fine, except that I had the disorder, epilepsy. And I struggled my entire life. Living life with epilepsy was a complete roller coaster. And as I um, moved on, I went into college and I struggled a lot um, trying to, you know, uh, cope with the stresses of uh, studying late night and, and dealing with, uh, you know, getting good grades and so forth. And I was having a lot of seizures. I didn't really know if I was going to actually, um, you know, be able to get through college, something I really wanted to do in life. And so one day I just wrote an article and I wrote a, a a letter out and sent it to the Epilepsy Foundation, and they have a magazine that they um, they publish for people with epilepsy and caretakers. And I had um, they had actually published the um, the letter that I had written, and I in that letter I asked other people, you know, to share their stories with me. How do they cope with epilepsy? If they have a story and they have some great ideas they'd like to share, I'd love to hear them. Well, surprisingly, I had like three to four hundred letters from all over the United States and Canada come to to my college campus, and people. People were just sharing their stories and sharing about how um, they dealt with epilepsy and their life story. And I was really intrigued. And, you know, for the first time in my life, I realized, you know, I'm not alone. Other people have this. Other people are getting through it. You know, they, they're they struggling, but they're finding ways to move on in life and, and live positively. And I learned a lot from those people. And um, after I got out of college... I ended up uh, putting the, a lot of those letters together and I wrote a book, Epilepsy, You're Not Alone, because I really, you know, those people helped me and I wanted to help other people. And uh, I had uh, also, um, that book came out and it, it did really well. A lot of people had gained a lot of great knowledge from it. And, you know, even one person had emailed me and told me they were on the verge of suicide because they didn't know how to deal with this disorder. And, um, you know, they said that my, my book actually, you know, helped them. The letters and the regiments and the suggestions I put in the book really, uh, really gave them some uh, good advice. And, you know, at that point, I realized, you know, the wisdom of words, you know, how powerful powerful words can be. You know, you do your radio show, 
I do my books and I do writing, but you know, words are very powerful and you could actually really change a person's lives by the things you say and the, and the things you write down on paper. It could really help another person out. And that's when I really, you know, I really kind of opened my eyes and saw my passion in life. And I, I, and I really realized what, you know, my purpose in life is something that we all struggle. We sometimes people spend their whole lives chasing after the concept. What is my passion in life? What's my purpose? You know, and at that point, I, I really, you know, felt that, you know, helping others, you know, was my purpose in life. And um, I had uh, started when I got out of college, I had started writing for an herbalist and I was still taking seizures. And I, I uh, started to really, he had me do a lot of research and a lot of writing for him. And I was doing a lot of research on a lot of different topics. I'm like, wow, you know, this kind of pertains to me, you know, and I was like, you know, I could try this. And, you know, I started using, you know, different herbs and I started doing, applying a lot of the research that I was uh, and uh, knowledge that I was gaining to my own life. And my seizures went from nine seizures, six, five, four, and they became controlled. And, you know, I started to, you know, I realized how powerful herbs can, you know, really be and how powerful changing your lifestyle, you know, not just, just herbs or vitamins, but just the way we eat, the way we, the way we handle stress, the, the things we do in life, you know, sleep and everything, you know, th it all pertains to our health. And then I realized that, you know, I can help more than just people with epilepsy, you know, the things I wrote in that book can apply to everybody. And all these things I was learning and all the research I was doing, I really, you know, felt that it it would be beneficial for others. And I ended up after several years, I ended up doing um, a five to 600 page book on, uh, on uh, called Epilepsy, You're Not Alone. And uh, I actually uh, started a website and I started, you know, helping people and just, you know, here I am today. That is amazing too. And you did this all by yourself. I'm very <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. And, and of course too, you talked about epilepsy. You talked about uh, again, like the, certain herbs you take, vitamins, food you eat, and everything else. What are some of the um, exact uh, herbs that you take, like for epilepsy and also for some um, other, other health issues as well, too, like some of the herbs, you know, especially for epilepsy and more? Um, you know, first of all, I, I people don't realize it, but the first thing, you know, is sleep. Sleep is very important. People don't realize, but sleep deprivation and, and, and not getting enough of sleep, not renewing your body can, can, can hurt any any uh, person's health and also stress. 90% of all illnesses are caused by stress. So a lot of times I, I like the, uh, the herb ashwanda. You know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a very common er um, herb. It helps you focus. It actually um, relaxes you and it has um, many different, um, uh, different uh, benefits. Like it also can lower the, uh, the cortisol level, uh, which is, you know, a lot of times cor a high cortisol level can you know, can cause, you know, it's a, it's it, uh, cause a lot of stress and cause a lot of health problems. Um, so that, that herb is really good. You know, I like, you know, it's good to take zinc. It's good to take, I like to take vitamin D. I like to take a daily multivitamin to make sure I'm getting enough of vitamins. Um, you know, I like to, you know, I, I think it's really good to, to take potassium and magnesium. A lot of people are magnesium deficient and that can cause a lot of different illnesses itself. And at nighttime, there is a supplement that I had found and it has both, it was created by a doctor, it has both potassium and magnesium and those two together, those two um, minerals together actually make you tired. So if you struggle from insomnia or just relaxing and you know a lot of people are always thinking about the next thing they have to do even when it's nighttime and they're in bed, they're thinking about tomorrow already and that day hasn't even begun. So you know taking a common herb or just taking magnesium and potassium can actually relax you so you actually actually get a better night's sleep, a more in-depth sleep. And so you're not like, you know, stressing yourself out because, you know, it, it, what's the point of stressing yourself out and not getting a good night's sleep? And then you wake up the next day and you're so tired because you didn't, you know, do what you need to, to try to help yourself get that good night's sleep. Mm -hmm. He also talked about magnesium, magnesium as well too. 
you know, essential. And also, too, we talked about, um, you know, some other natural remedies like for um, for sleep, mental stress and everything else. And we also cover hair loss as well, too. We'll talk about that. But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com. It's powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off on your project. Sound of Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen over 25 podcast platforms, including Facebook, Mike Widener Show at the MikeWidenerShow.com. It's powered by Sound of Web Studios. Visit online at SoundOfWebStudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sound of Web Studios is the answer. Sound of Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off on your project. Sound of Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen over 25 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, Geo7. And if you don't have a podcast uh, platform, that you don't have, just let us know. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter. And also stay up to date on the Mike Widener Show page at Facebook.com slash Mike Widener Show. Stay tuned for updates. We're here with author and health expert Stacey Chalemi here on the Mike Widener Show, recapping um, you know, her uh, interesting history with epilepsy, how to combat it, and also some of the healing herbs and also foods as well, too. Talk a little bit about the Complete Herbal Guide, A Natural Approach to Healing Your Body, author of 20 books. And, of course, you also wrote some more books as well, too. We went over some of them before we talked about hair loss. What are some of the books that we have not covered during during the last time we talked about? You know, I, I there's one book I, I wrote about how to be kind. Um, you know, um, a lot of times, like, you know, life has really, you know, you, you see the same things circle around in life. You know, people, you see the same problems with uh, war and people, you know, fighting with one another. And, you know, sometimes people need to have a little gratitude and ha- have a little kindness in their hearts. And I wrote a book um, for adults and for children to share with each other and to read together and to talk about so they can communicate one another and discuss about gratitude and how to be kind and ways to be kind to each other because in life you know um, you know we we only have one life and and there's no point in being cruel to others you know you only inflict pain on another's life when you're mean to them and you don't want someone inflicting pain on you so why do it to somebody else and you know I had talked about um, I had wrote a book about it's called be kind and it just talks about different ways that you things you can do in life on a daily basis to to you know demonstrate kindness to one another and cause happiness to each other. Mm-hmm. And, and, and also, too, you also have talked about um, how to purify water and faith, courage, wisdom, strength, and host. And I think uh, those are pretty uh, interesting topics, purifying water. You can just uh, tell us more about that. Yeah, you know, there's so many, you know, chemicals in, in water that you don't see. And a lot of towns, like if you, you know, you could actually get a, um, a water report of your town because it's surprisingly your your town might be, you know, have clean water, but the town next to you actually can have lots of toxins in their water, depending where their water is coming from. And, you know, sometimes, you know, there are some towns, you know, around in, in the New Jersey area that they, people got letters, you know, telling them not to drink their water. You know, we're recommending purify. Uh, uh, um, purified water instead, and uh, to get filters on their on their on their water um, um, uh, uh, in their sinks and in their in their uh, in showers and stuff like that. And you know that's kind of scary, you know, because and when you when you're uh, taking a shower, the you know even if, if the water is contaminated, the water goes into your pores that goes right into your bloodstream. So you know you you can't you can't avoid it, you know. So it's like you know I talk about water purification, different you know different ways to purify water and you know different filters you can use and different things and then you know there are some you know there are a lot of different waters that are on the market but not all of them are good you know there are some that have toxins in them and have you know have been found to have certain chemicals and things in there and so you know you should actually do your homework and and you know and actually look to see which ones are rated the best and you know and if you're going to buy bottled water to try to stick with certain brands because not every brand is up to what they actually say they are. 
And, and what about the uh, boiling water as well, too, that back in the day before the purification, the filters and everything coming around, everybody boiled their water. Yes. And is it still as effective today or is it um, or should we just say it's pretty much outdated? No, it's still it's still effective. It's just people, you know, a lot of people don't like to do the the the, the work of boiling the water, but it, it's very effective and it works well. Uh-huh. And, and, and also that um, it, there's just a lot of health as well, too. And of course, stress, you know, that's been going on in the world these days. <laughs> Pandemic, you also had, you know, what's going on, you know, especially with the riots and looting and everything else. Yeah. And, it's just causing a lot of hair loss as well, too. And, you know, you know, we'll talk about that. And, um, and, of course, you know, we've all had experience with hair loss. And maybe just in your terms, you know, you know, you know, describing hair loss, what it is and what's causing it. And basically just uh, what to do about hair loss, just like mine. <laughs> you know, hair loss is uh, is uh, um, it starts from, you know, we have uh, DH, we have testosterone, both men and women in our bodies. And as time goes on, um, you know, uh, we have uh, t um, DH, uh, DHT um, is is uh, derived from testosterone, and it's the DHT that actually causes the hair the hair loss with the help of an enzyme um, called five um, five uh, reductus, um, and it's a um, five alpha reductus. And uh, what happens is about you know about ten percent of your your testosterone turns into DHT, and DHT actually um, blocks the hair follicles, and it causes you know. Um, the hair follicles sometimes to shrink and 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 blockage and and so that's when the hair the hair loss sets in, and um, they also you know there are ways to actually um, to you know help your hair loss and uh, you know one of the ways is, is what like we just mentioned you know stress you know stress can cause hair loss um, you know it could be hereditary it could you know it could be it could be caused by you know um, certain um, hair loss uh, illnesses like alpecia, um, you know, uh, so it's, there's different things that can cause hair loss, but we need to, you know, figure out, you know, um, different ways. And there's so many things on the market that sometimes, you know, people don't know what is the right uh, thing to use what actually works, you know, because that you could you could spend a fortune out there, you know, the the prices for all these things can get very costly. You know, you buy it on a monthly basis, and you know you're hoping for all the, these things to happen. But really, the the best way is the scientific way is is to to get rid of the you know and to decrease the the uh, DHT in in that's going on in your body. And uh, there are lots of um, you know different um, you know protein amino acids acids, uh, um, nutrients, um, and then uh, antioxidants, you know, these are things that actually fight off the DHT. And, um, you know, so I, I actually had a really good um, experience with um, hair, uh, um, hair uh, restorations laboratory. Um, they, are, they have a product that I've been using for a long time now. And uh, my hair growth um, had uh, improved tremendously. And, you know, I haven't had, you know, my hair hasn't been this thick in over 10 years and you know what their company does is they focus on the natural ingredients um, you know just, just like we mentioned they have a bunch of nutrients and vitamins and they have antioxidants and and different uh, you know amino acids and other ingredients but it's all natural and that's what I love about it there's no there's no unpure chemicals and it actually works um, you know they have like a shampoo a conditioner um, a hair serum uh, to help with either the growth uh, or the thickness of the hair, and uh, I, I I really like it. I like you know I I've try I try a lot of different things you know over the course of the top my, my life. I had you know I had chopped my hair when my kids were little, and I just you know just taking care of long hair was like a little too much for me when my kids were running around when they were toddlers, and my hair after that didn't want to grow anymore. It was just stuck. It was it it I couldn't get it to grow for anything, and and it was starting to thin out a little, and I was starting to get nervous, 
and uh, you know I started taking I started taking um, do, doing this I started taking biotin for a while and then I came across the the hair the, uh, the uh, hair restorations laboratories products and I started doing that also and my hair started growing and uh, it's you know my hairdresser told me it's never been as this thick like it's like it is now so it's been you know it's been exciting for me because I've I've never had hair this long since I was a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is amazing, and your hair looks fantastic. Now, are you sure your kids weren't pulling your hair during that time? Causing oh, they pulled. They pulled. <laughs> they did everything. <laughs> yeah, it's mine. It's mine. Mine. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Kids, kids, kids these days. And, of course, you talk about the natural ingredients um, your, your hair restoration uses. What are those natural ingredients? They do. A, they have so many different ingredients. The, each product has its own own um, com, co combination of ingredients. Like the, I know they use aloe, and they use like they have you know different like uh, green um, uh, green extract and other in, you know ingredients. But it's all they have all like amino acids, and they have they have uh, nutrient all different types of nutrients depending on which what if you're using the conditioner, or if you're using the shampoo and the serum, or and um, uh, they have uh, you know. It's, it's just a, a lot of, um, you know, different proteins and different things in it that are pure and, uh, and healthy to the body. Mm -hmm. and, how, how, and how about the vitamins that are used to uh, promote uh, hair growth and uh, avoiding hair loss? They have they have, they have biotin in their in their products also, and I like biotin. You know, I've always had um, I've you know, it, but you need sometimes you need you need a little bit more than just the biotin. You know, um, it's good to have a combination of things. But um, biotin uh, is one of the one of the uh, minerals um, that are in there, and I used it. I've used it for years, and uh, you know, people have used um, biotin. But you have to be careful too, because before I tried the shampoo and the conditioner and the serums, I was using and biotin and I didn't realize it but the pro the product I bought also had other other vitamins and nutrients in it and w the two things it had in it one was vitamin A and one was vitamin B now vitamin B is good um, as long as you don't take too much of it because too much sometimes can cause um, muscles to become tightened and and hurt mm. <clears throat> excuse me it's okay ah I think I'll I take like myself too, so <laughs> uh, purified water, love it. So <laughs> yeah, and so too many vi too many vi too much vitamin B sometimes can tighten the muscles and it can actually cause pain. And I was taking the biotin, um, and I was taking you know quite a bit. And over the time, over time, it built up, and it had not just the biotin. And I didn't read the ingredients. And it, me being the herbal girl, I should have looked in to see how much vitamin A and vitamin B it had in it. But over a course of time of taking it for so long, my body suddenly became really achy. And yeah. I thought I my you know, we have arthritis on my father's side of the family. So I thought I was getting arthritis. And I, you know, I thought, oh my God, but I'm so young. I shouldn't be getting it this early because my dad complains and he moans and groans of aches and pains all over the place. So I thought yeah. I was just following in his footsteps. But what I did was, is I, I looked one day on the biotin when I was about to take it, and I saw all the different vitamins it had besides the biotin. And I saw how much vitamin A and vitamin B it had in it. And it was a lot. And wow. it, it was just, it was, you know, and I was taking it and, I, you know, and just, it just built up in my system. And when I stopped taking it in a course of three days, the pain that I had for like seven or eight months, I, sometimes I didn't want to get out of bed because I felt so achy. And it was because of the, the uh, supplement. It was just, you know, I, I took a supplement. That's why you have to always be careful when you take any herbs or vitamins or supplements. You have to make sure you know everything that is in the ingredients because dependent on the medications you're taking, dependent on the conditions you have, you know, dependent on what you're taking previously, you could overdose yourself and you could actually cause problems, health problems for yourself. So as soon as I stopped taking that biotin with all those other vitamins and, and supplements in it, my my pain stopped, you know, so you have to always be careful. Mm -hmm. And that's important as well, too. And for those who are not tolerant of biotin, vitamin A and vitamin B, what are some of the other alternatives um, to uh, to preventing hair loss for those who are not tolerant to biotin, vitamin A or vitamin B? 
you know, uh, they, they tell you to focus on protein. Protein is very good for you. Um, you know, what you eat plays a big role too. You know, um, you have to, you know, you could, uh, um, uh, you know, you ha wait, uh, omega-3 is very good for you. Um, you know, green tea extract is, is very good for you. Um, you know, vitamin D is very good for it to help promote hair growth. Um, you have, uh, you know, eating a lot of different foods like fish and, you know, if you like fish, eggs, you know, um, you know, different foods that have, have a high level of, of protein in it. You know, caffeine is actually good for hair, you know, and um, you could, you know, you can have some caffeine that helps promote hair growth. Um, but you have to make sure just that, you know, that you eat, you know, a, the a right amount, a healthy amount. And, you know, and also do your research. I always say be your own doctor, you know, like you can't always rely on what someone says. You can, you know, take their advice. If, if it sounds good, then double check. Make sure it's right. Make sure what they're saying is accurate because you, you know, it doesn't hurt to be your own doctor. You know, there's a lot of false information out there. So you always want to make sure that you're getting accurate information and information that will be beneficial to yourself. And you talked about some of the foods that you can eat and what are some of the foods that you have to avoid when it comes to hair loss? You know, um, they, they, you know, it's staying away from processed foods, staying away from foods that are not good for the body with high fat co contents that put stress on our, on our bodies, you know, um, are, are foods you want to stay away from. A lot of times we don't realize it, but a lot of the foods we eat have a lot of um, ingredients that are bad for our bodies. When our body doesn't know what to do with um, certain uh, foods that come into our body and they might have certain ingredients that are impure, our body doesn't know what to do, so it stores it because it doesn't know how to break it down. So then you could, over a course of time, you can have a lot of toxins in your body and not even realize it. That could cause stress on your body and that could cause the hair loss itself. So, you know, you really, you know, by, by the food you eat, you can actually, you know, by eating healthy and staying away from a lot of those processed and bad foods, you could actually help your hair growth. You know, um, that's a, a big thing. And I always, I, I like to detoxify my body. You know, there are different, there are different herbs that you can, you know, take. Um, uh, chamomile uh, is good for relaxation, but, you know, it, it also helps with detoxifying. Um, you have uh, dandelion, which is really good. Uh, dandelion is a very good uh, uh, detoxify and you can ha you can drink it as a tea you know there's a lot of different things that you know help to detoxify the body you know um, you know spinach is, is a good uh, it has a lot of fiber in it, it you know I think when well, we were talking about foods uh, it has the magnesium and the iron in it so you know okay, my brain sometimes doesn't work you know <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know that's another food that you could eat that's great for the body and it cleanses it helps cleanse the body helps you know and you know they talk about, you know, um, a healthy gut, you know, a lot of times, a lot of the illnesses and the things that happen to us is, is, is you have to look at the, the, you know, the root cause, you know, and the, our, you know, having a leaky gut, having a, uh, a, you know, a lot of toxins in our digestive tract, you know, can cause a lot of the illnesses and problems that we have and that we suffer on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, if Popeye's listening, I'm sure he'd be happy about spinach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he would. <laughs> Yes, yes, I missed that cartoon. <laughs> yeah. and, and, go, and, of course, what's coming up for uh, Stacey Chalamey and more, we'll talk about that. But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Mention the Mike Whitener Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your remit to the next level. Also, the Mike Whitener Show can be heard on the themikewhitenershow.com. You can also check our Facebook page, facebook.com slash the Mike Whitener Show. You can download and listen on over 25 podcast platforms on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, take the Mike Whitener Show at the end. Any mobile device, subscribe to the Mike Whitener Show on the YouTube channel. Also, follow the Mike Whitener Show on Instagram and Twitter today and stay tuned to the Facebook page of MikeWidenerShow.com and for any updates as well. We're here with author and health expert Stacey Chalemi here on the Mike Widener Show talking about hair loss and much, much more as well too. And one more question before we talk about what's coming up for you. Where can we find this um, information on hair loss in your books and which ones? 
uh, the complete herbal guide talks about hair loss. It has uh, different uh, information. Um, you know, uh, I also, you know, um, talk about it on my website, the complete herbal um, If you don't find the information um, that you want in the book, you could always go to the website because over the course of the years, I've written even more um, content on our website and other experts have come on the website to talk about hair loss and have uh, written different articles on hair loss as well. So there's a lot of information on the on the website along with the book the complete herbal guide and it talks about all the different herbs and all the different types of vitamins and nutrients that you could um you could take to to help you um with your hair loss that is amazing as well too and where can we find this book at um the book is on my website or you can find it on amazon um lulu.com has my book as well uh but you can go on my website and it, it's right on the website itself and, uh, you know, if anyone has any questions, you know, I'd love to hear their thoughts and their questions about, you know, what kind of health concerns they may have, too. Mm -hmm. That is fantastic. Looking forward to you having it again soon and uh, keep yourself to date. And speaking of keeping yourself to date, what are your upcoming plans for 2020 and beyond? Well, you know, I've been doing a lot of uh, videos lately. A lot of people have been telling me, you know, you, you write so much content, you know, we want to hear it. We don't want to just read it. So I've been working a lot on YouTube and our, our YouTube channel, uh, the the uh, Herbal Guide on, on YouTube. And we've been doing a lot of videos trying to, you know, talk about different topics and, you know, talk about different solutions and advice, you know, about different natural ways to conquer a lot of different um, illnesses, conditions, and, and different, you know, over things can uh, like even like beauty and stuff like that uh, natural ways to you know to make yourself beautiful that is fantastic and what's the uh, and, and, and who do you consider biggest influence in your career my biggest influence um, you know I, I over over the course of time it was you know I had certain um, certain doctors that actually you know I um, dr. Uh, Oren Davinsky he's in he's in New York and he focuses on epilepsy and uh, you know um, he he uh, he was a big uh, influence you know he just uh, you know when I when I told him about how I was writing he was you know really uh, you know um, he really liked the idea of me writing and he always you know um, kind of uh, gave me inspiration and the fact that he did so much for others you know he inspired me because I'd never saw someone do so much for other people like like he did you know and he just devoted his entire life to helping others so you know people like that you know inspire me when I see others you know kind of you know d doing things for the right reasons you know I become very inspired and, and motivated and it kind of gives me motivation myself to want to do good. It does fantastic. You're doing a great job of it. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? You know, right now we're going through a really hard time. People are getting very stressed and they're very nervous. You know, I keep talking to people and a lot of people are struggling, you know, you know, even financially too. You know, I see so many people that I know that own businesses and they're just, they don't know what the next month is going to bring them, you know, and, and it's that fear. And, you know, the best thing to do is, you know, I, I, I think is, is to, you know, take each day, you know, one day at a time and, and, and try to, you know, do the best we can and to work on stress you know on ways to you know to work on our stress and to you know be able to work on our anxiety because this is a very uh, hard time for everybody and you know the best thing to do is just to to learn how to meditate maybe do a little yoga and relaxation to focus better and to be able you know and you can find those things on youtube they have great um yoga and meditation channels with uh, great exercises on the youtube station and it doesn't cost any money and and it's you know they have like little classes they do, you know, just to help you relax and to help you, you know, to be able to to focus better and get that anxiety out. And, and that is amazing. I love what you put. Very well said, by the way, author and health expert Stacy Chlemy of the Complete Herbal Guide, Natural Approach to Healing Your Body, talking about hair loss and more here on the Mike Wagner Show. Stacy, again, big thank you for your time. It's always fantastic to talk to you. And once again, tell us about your upcoming projects, what's your website, how do people contact you? Where can people purchase your books? Um, they can purchase my books on the uh, Complete Herbal Guide. We have a um, we have a, a link right on the top of our menu that leads to all our books. That way, it's nice and easy. Um, you know, I have uh, also. Um, 
like I mentioned, um, the complete herbal guide dot com. Uh, we also have a, you know, a store that we have different vitamins and supplements and you can find that on our website too. that, um, you know, it's called uh, uh, the uh, uh, vitamin herbal store and uh, dot com. And you can find a lot of our vitamins and our our, our things too. We're also um, thinking about maybe doing. Um, we've been working on uh, different, maybe making a, a couple of supplements. You know, especially with immunity and you know people worried about their immunity now. Um, the complete you might be seeing a, a vitamin and a, and a supplement out from the Complete Herbal Guide soon. And um, you know you could also um, you know find like our books, like I mentioned on Amazon. And, uh, you know, those are the, kind of the things that I'm working on right now. And, uh, you know, on our website, we pretty much have everything linked and, you know, and I, I encourage others to come down and, and visit our YouTube station and leave their th comments and thoughts and, you know, and, and tell us what they want to see from us. Cause I'd love to know what people want to learn about. Mm -hmm. and, and talk about immunity as well too, how to protect yourself. I think that's a great subject to talk about. We'll do that again. And yes. Stacey Thank you for your time. You've been fantastic. Looking forward to having you in soon. Do us a favor. Keep this update. Love you back on sometime in 2020 and beyond. And um, stay well and um, stay happy and stay safe. Thank you so much. And you as well. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it.